good question. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time that you spend on something. You know, I was talking about this with a curator who I greatly respect named Jova. She's from Detroit. And we are trying to make this show happen in Detroit. Um, And in trying to do that, uh, sometimes, you know, institutions, whether they be museums, schools, universities, or whatever, um, only understand that, you know, there's a show opening date and, and, and and a date for when the show closes. But the work for that show started, you know, maybe 10 to 15 years ago, maybe longer, because of the way in which someone has experienced, witnessed life, witnessed events around them. It's helped them distill things. It's helped them break through plateaus, maybe um, come into truth, do do all kinds of stuff. By the time me and Jova begin to speak, there's so much work that has happened to get to that point. And so the truth sits in the spirit of what we're trying to do together, you know, which does require clarity and groundwork and all this type of checking in and, um, and care about it. But the way in which one feels, one might feel if that's good enough to go forward and to put something, um, you know, into the air, I think it's time that would have distilled that. You know, because the same situation can render terrible results when it's happenstance and opportunistic and of the moment and vogue to to do something in Detroit because it's about this and it's about that. I think I think time is what ends up distilling the truth of it. And and that that sometimes can be deciphered far after a show comes down when people have, you know, quiet moments to themselves and are able to move towards other sources of information to understand if that show stood for truth or not. You know, so so the the expanse of truth um, also is not just bound to an initial encounter. Just like the making of it uh, was not bound to, you know, a specific timeline. I think, I think, I think again, it, it, it is time that that soothes and and brings forward, crystallizes the truth. And from there, when there is object experience, um, you know, programming um, created around that, that that's incredible. It's it's beautiful. Is powerful too. It can bring down all kinds of things, all kinds of things, whether they were engineered to um, the entire time to hide people from that truth or not. It it can be quite beautiful what happens, or it, or or it can also just reinstill what people knew all along. You know, shit, that's beautiful too. <laughs>